another email, email letter, Pastor, from Giovanni Palihado of Cebu, Philippines. Dear Pastor, greetings. I was so overwhelmed by your reply to my letter that I couldn't keep my tears from flowing. I consider tears of joy to be a treasure when it comes to the things from the Holy Father. Pastor, I feel this was the Heavenly Father, our Lord Jesus Christ's answer to my prayers. I live there in Davao, the New Jerusalem. But as of now, I am here in Cebu studying medicine. I am in my third year now and I pray to the Holy Father for His guidance in my studies. In the two years, I will be taking my postgraduate internship or PGI in a well-known hospital. I dream of taking my PGI at the ACQ Medical Center, though I do not know yet whether or not the kingdom is going to have its own hospital. But I believe through the perfect will of the Father, through His appointed Son, there will be one soon. Pastor, can you also send me a copy of the kingdom calendar? If there is a subscri subscription for the Pinas newspaper, I would also like to have it also. I love everything about the kingdom and above all, I love to be an overcomer through your guidance with you as our model. Thank you for reading this letter, Pastor. I pray that I may be able to see you in person when I get back to Davao. Glory to the name of the Almighty Father. Sincerely, Giovanni Palihado of Cebu, Philippines. Praise the name of the Father, Brother Giovanni. Uh, you can order the words of the Son uh, here. And uh, these are all the words quoted from my sayings and also uh, the Pinas newspaper. We have the new, uh, have the new Pinas. Pinas today. Yes. This is uh, it already, uh, this is the Tagalog, Tagalog version. Oh, no? yes. Tagalog version of the uh, of uh, the Pinas newspaper. Right. So here, magbayad ng buwis. This is uh, the, the headline. Uh, we will be sending you this and also the calendar. Uh, we have the wall calendar and also the, uh, the desk calendar. Uh, we will also be sending you all the desk calendar also. Uh, so this is a package of what we will send you. One, we can also sign, send you the guide magazine, the Pinas newspaper, the world calendar, and also the, uh, the uh, desk calendar. Yeah. So praise the name of the Father for all of you uh, children of the Father who are uh, following this ministry closely. Amen. Praise the Father. Totoo po ba ang saying na once you are saved, you are saved forever? Mm, it can be uh, lost because uh, you, have, you still have your freedom of choice. Uh, you know, so that the doctrine that uh, once uh, saved, you always saved, uh, does not, does not uh, conform to the, uh, to the uh, way we are made by the Father. Because we've been made with the freedom of choice. Like now, I am the appointed son. But in the middle of this, I can decide to go back and, you know, uh, be uh, under the rule of Satan once again. I can do that. Uh, but my own freedom of choice, I abused to decide not to do that. My heart is fixed, my mind is made up. That's my choice. So, you know, when you say one Savior always saved, then you are actually facing out or you are actually putting aside the freedom of choice that you have. What if you want to backlight? 
what if you want to go back and uh, be uh, live like Lucifer again? You know. So, uh, I thank God if if that that were that were true, that. Uh, Although I wanted to go back and I cannot because somebody is holding me against my will, then that would, be, that would be wonderful. But that is not the way we were made. So use your freedom of choice in order for you to have the crown of life upon you as a kingdom citizen forever. Mine is a forever thing. So I used my freedom of choice to forever decide that I will be with the Father no matter what. Amen. Adam and Eve, our first parents, decided otherwise. They, had, they used their freedom of choice. All of us, the children of the Father, right now we have our own freedom of choice. So all of us also can use that freedom of choice to, to obey the will of the Father. Why am I obeying the will of the Father right now no matter what? It was my choice. That was not taken away from us. That is the beauty of it. When you say, always save, once save, always save. That's why the, the, the people who have the doctrine, uh, they live like the devil, but they still believe that they are going to heaven. You know, they're not doing the will of the Father. They're only members of religion and denomination. That's right. But, uh, you know, that, that made them complacent in not uh, following up on God's will. That's not true at all. If that were true, Judas was once... Uh, a son of God. He was even a disciple. But he, he lost out with God and we know what happened to him. You, you, you read the Bible. There are also many, like Israel, you know, they were once uh, the children of God, you know. But why would Jesus Christ still offer them uh, to become born again in the spirit if they are already saved? Now he even turned their back on him and and. Until now, Israel does not believe that Jesus Christ is the Savior. Jesus Christ came to save them from sin. Until now, to them, he is only an impostor. So I don't think that's true.